Julia Trinesky here with FanPass.TV at the 33star.com Artist Lounge with my friends in Digital Summer. Guys, what is going on? So we just saw each other at Ship Rock 2014, which was quite the rock and roll extravaganza. What was that experience like for you guys? Five day boozing festival. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it was just a nonstop party on a boat. It was awesome. And I think it's like a very unique experience because like the fans don't bug out. No, well, we were talking about that. It's the best group of fans we've ever dealt with. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? Everyone paid a, a pretty hefty price to be there. So you've got all like these fans that are die hard and real like family oriented. So everyone's really cool, super patient. There, were, there wasn't a single fight. What rock festival doesn't have a fight? Which, well, I heard about some drama at like 5 a.m. at the casino. I'm like, first of all, if you're at the casino at 5 a.m., yeah, yeah, drama well. will ensue. <laughs> drama will ensue. But yeah, I had a great time. You guys were amazing. Um, what is it about? Have you guys done uh, Rockville before? That was our first year doing uh, first Rockville. How do you guys, I mean, for, for, for a venue, for a festival venue, I think it's pretty dope. I mean, we got the water oh, it's, front, it's, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's, it's huge, too. Yeah. 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 There's a pirate. Massive. Yeah, there's a pirate ship. Yeah, there's a pirate ship. There's a pirate ship? I didn't see the pirate ship. I didn't see the pirate ship. There's a pirate ship. I love pirates. <laughs> Speaking of pirates, let's talk about booze real quick. So, you guys, uh, teamed up with Headbanger, which which is a company that originally started with wine, if I'm correct, right? right. And now they recently released a whiskey. Yeah. Go. Uh, Headbanger is a brand that we're actually now part owners in. And uh, so, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, oh, we, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, we, the wine was out for a while and we weren't really wine drinkers, but it was like, all right, this is cool. It's an edgy brand. And, uh, and we started talking with uh, the, the main owner of the company. We're like, let's get into liquor. Let's get into whiskey. Yeah, let's do some and they, they took our lead and said, okay, run with it. See what you got. And we'll handle the legal side of it. And so this is what we came up with. Um, the first batch of it's out and it'll start hitting markets and distributors in the next month or so. But um, it started as a clear whiskey and then it was too harsh. So we added some sweetness to it and stuff. So that's why it's a lighter color. We went like a modern design, like kind of like vodka does. But it's a whiskey through and through. And uh, we're really excited. We got a lot of other bands. Uh, nothing legally I can mention yet, but a lot of really big names that are going to come out starting to endorse it. And uh, we're pushing it full on. I mean, because we love music. We love whiskey. Why not Rock and roll and whiskey kind of go together really, really well. But let me, let me ask you about the whiskey itself. So this is, like you said, a clear whiskey. And how does that differ from your regular brown bourbon or your your, your whiskey or your scotch? Which... Right, so basically most whiskeys, uh, they're aged in, in barrels. Yep. And then different types of barrels change the flavor. Well, we went kind of like a new school approach with it. Um, you go herbal? Well, we didn't go herbal. What we did was we, we used it's mixed. There's 10% aged whiskey in original barrels and the rest of it is in oak, oak barrels and an okay. unaged whiskey mix. Okay. And then we kind of flavored it to tailor what we wanted. Basically, so you guys had like a hand in absolutely. and yeah, oh, that's 100%. wonderful. Wow. 100%. So it's like authentic. The design is all the by added. the band for the people. Well put it this way, you don't have to taste it, but smell it. Tell me that isn't the best smelling whiskey you ever smelled. That smells amazing. That smells like a like like a like a Yankee candle. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, yeah. I mean that the, the idea is we wanted, it's very we wanted like to make a whiskey that even whiskey drinkers can drink. So. I'm not a whiskey drinker and I want to drink it. Plus, I'm a vodka drinker and this color just makes me think of vodka. What about, are you guys going to expand into other uh, liquor categories? Or? We've talked about it, um, but we got to see how this goes first. You know, we're going to start pushing it. We've got a lot of a lot of ideas. Um, Hard Rock in Las Vegas already picked it up and they're making four signature cocktails with it. Um, our distributors are coming through, and like I said, we've got some big artists that are getting on board. So we're gonna start pushing and see how it goes. If things are working, if it's so, working, we're pushing more. So if yeah. people want to check it out or get involved, where can they go? Uh, Drinkheadbanger.com. Yeah. Uh, you can also visit any, like any of the digital summer websites. It all has links to the Headbanger stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's digital our summer. brand through and through. So. Instagram Very cool. I support alcohol all the way. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm from Russia. That's just how we roll. And I think this ah, is a really, a really beautiful, unique um, liquor and, and bottle. And we're going to taste it at the end of our interview. Cool. But before that, we just very briefly touched upon the unique factor that a lot of you guys have very like interesting jobs outside of the band world. First of all, let's talk about, let's start from here. We got like a 13-year-old prodigy here. Tell me about yourself. How did you, how did you get involved? How did I get involved with these guys? Or well, well, in music and then with these guys. Let's start from the beginning. Well, I mean, my mom and dad have always just listened to hard rock or like maybe just slightly metal, but uh, so I've always gotten like the music influence from them. And then uh, I started drumming uh, on Christmas Day. I asked for a drum set because it was either like taekwondo, wrestling, all this stuff, and I was like, I don't want to do that. I, I'll get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to break these bones. Anyways. 
Uh, so I got my first drum set on uh, Christmas, and it started from there pretty much. And uh, I started to show a little sign of progress, and then I started uh, putting videos up on YouTube. And then uh, yeah. saw these guys for the first time, and I was like, wow, I want to do some covers of their songs. And uh, so they saw them and said, hey, uh, maybe you want to come do a show with us in uh, Oklahoma City. And that's why I so we were on tour through Oklahoma, and uh, we saw them beforehand doing a meet and greet type thing. We're like, you're that drummer kid. Because he kept sending us videos. He was nine years old when he started what? sending us videos. He was like, it was, it's like this big. and it was good though. It, it was impressive. We're like, this kid can drum, and that's weird, you know. Like, and uh, so when we saw him, I was just throwing it out there, expecting him to be bashful or something. I'm like, you want to get on stage and play a song tonight? And he's like, he's like yeah. He goes, hell yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay. Badass, badass. I'm like, all right. Let's see how this goes. And he killed it. So wait, did you like say to your old drama like, hey well, man? No, we, we were we were on tour, uh, and we were on tour with Nonpoint. We had a couple shows left, and unfortunately, I had to fire our drummer because. Or typical, fortunately. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> typical band drama, you know. And uh, so I basically called him up and was like, you want to miss school for a couple days? And, uh, and it worked out really well because his dad is actually our driver now. So his dad's with us, and uh, we literally, I don't know, is he here? I don't know. We we're literally, big family. Yeah, we're big family, because we're kind of odd anyway, like, with other, we have other professional careers and stuff, so, like, we'll literally tutor him and stuff between cities. I was like, going to ask, so, yeah. so you're kind of like band school. Kind of band yeah. homeschool. You're homeschooled by rock and roll. Yeah, Road yeah. School. It's like every person's dream, homeschool by rock and roll. That should be a website, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, what are, for you, you know, this is kind of like your your first big break, obviously, so what are, what have been some of the highlights of being in a, in a, in a big touring band? Well, I mean, getting to see some of my favorite bands, like like today, for instance, I just fangirled over Memphis May Fire and A Day to Remember. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, what? I love A Day to Remember and those guys, but um, it's just, it's been really amazing. Like, I mean, hanging out with the guys from Bullbeat Trivium since we're on tour with them now has been super fun. Everyone from that camp is just super cool. Super yeah, they nice do. Guys. He's 13, but he's, I'm telling you, he's, he's the most mature person on our well, bus. Well, I can tell right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I babysit them whenever they... Uh, <laughs> I, I believe it. I believe it 100%. He's the most mature 13-year-old we've ever encountered, and uh, he's honestly been the easiest drummer we've ever worked with. Like, Give, him just weird. Give him time. Give him time. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. But he'll do studio sessions. You know, we'll do 12 hour sessions and stuff, and he's not going all ADD on us. Like, he'll sit there and wait, do his stuff, sit there and wait. Like, it's it's awesome. Actually. Keep him in his place, I'm just saying. We, we try. Constantly. And what about what about some other odd careers that you guys have? Uh, well, Kyle and I work with brothers. He's a. Uh, I, I can tell. He's a full time firefighter uh, back in Arizona where we live. I'm a flight paramedic on a helicopter. I actually just flew I in this morning. I, uh, yeah. When we have days off on tour, I fly home. I'll work a 24-hour shift, and I'll fly back out and meet back over the tour. So I flew in this morning at, I landed at like 9.30, caught a cab here, and we played. And it's just in time, man. That's badass. What about you guys? What do you do outside of the band? I'm a DJ. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you usually DJ? Do you totally DJ different music? You know, it's, yeah, top yeah. 40. I mean, yeah. dance stuff. I mean, totally. it's, but, you know, it makes you really appreciate Every, every kind of music. Enough, I mean, like, it's just death metal bands want to listen to like dance music when right. they're done with their set because right. they're like, Julia, I just listen to death metal all day. I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> right. What about you, my friend? Um, I go to Arizona State University for supply chain management. It's a business degree. So. <laughs> yes, kids. Stay in school. <laughs> this only pays so much. On that note, I think we should probably try out this whiskey, yeah, right? Yeah, let's shots. shots. What, what do you do in these situations? Uh, I a lot of times I, I, pour, I pour him water or soda in a well, shotgun. Don't you need somebody who says it's okay, like a guardian? Uh, my dad. He's, uh, there he is. There's our driver, Ram. Yeah. That's his dad. Can he have a shot with us? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Julia Trinetsky, making magic happen one shot at a time. Just so you know, kids, without without a dad, you shouldn't be drinking. I'm just saying. I'm gonna take the little shot because whiskey makes me weird. Everybody else is gonna have to drink from the bottle. They're all chasing from the bottle. Yeah. I don't chase. That young man needs a shot. I will share with him. Do you have any more? No, I have enough to get. Do we have shot? Oh, bam. Let's oh, go. go. Let's do this. Here. Is that... Sorry, guys. It's part of the ritual. You're going to be in on it with us. I don't really drink whiskey, but I'm very, very interested in trying this one out. You have? Do you need, do you need one? Headbanger Whiskey, my friends, Digital Summer, FanPass.tv, I'm Julia, and uh, 
Cheers. 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 Rock and roll. To rock and roll. That's amazing. That ah, even tastes like see? See? It tastes like Christmas. It's dangerous, huh? <laughs> Digital summer tastes like Christmas. Oh, I, like, I like that quote. quote. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Fantas.tv.